Hello and welcome to episode 9 of How to Code Games in BBC Basic. In this video we're going to be looking at the procedures that make up the intro screen for Cosmic Invaders. Before diving into the code, just a quick note, um, I've put up the various files that I'll be referring to throughout this video series up onto my website. Uh, you can access them using the link below. I've added it to the description of all the preceding episodes and I'll make sure I put it in for all future episodes as well. Um, if you go to that link, you'll be able to access the original source code for Cosmic Invaders, um, as well as any other artifacts that I use throughout the series. Um, so far, you'll be able to see both the source code and also a uh, graphics export of the flowchart in PNG format, uh, which you can have a look at if you want to understand the overall logical flow. Uh, don't worry too much if uh, it doesn't all make sense at the moment. Uh, we've only really looked at the first um, section of the flowchart so far, uh, but if you do want to have a sneak peek and understand the overall logic of the game for future videos to help your understanding, do feel free to take a look. Okay, so where we left off in the last episode was we had a review of the main program and got an understanding for the overall flow of that main program and had a reference to the flow chart as well, just to understand how you can depict the logic of something like the main program using a flow chart diagram. Now, the one thing that we did skip over is what the PROC title, PROC scores and PROC high scores procedures are actually doing. So I'm going to quickly review those. Um, the good news is that they all use uh, functionality that we've already looked at in previous episodes. So it should be fairly straightforward to explain what's going on. So if we start with PROC title, this is the one that uh, displays the instructions at the start. What you can see here is a very straightforward set of print statements. That's really all that this procedure is doing. So it starts off with clearing the screen with CLS, and then everything from here on down is just a combination of the various mode seven control characters for controlling the display of text. So we can see first of all in lines 570 and 580 that it's using the, the large character control, which means that we have to have two print statements for a single um, sentence or, or um, title in this case, Cosmic Invaders. Um, we use a combination of yellow and green, and that's what gives the Cosmic Invaders sort of um, dual display color uh, when, you, uh, when, you, when you first see the title screen. So you get the giant lettering with a combination of yellow and green. And then everything from here on down is in normal uh, text, but you can see that there are different control characters for the display of the different colors. So red for the first line, and then some lines in cyan, then some lines in magenta, and then yellow. And then finally at the bottom here, we can see uh, the combination of both the flashing control character and the magenta control character here and then switching back to static again for the remainder of the line. You'll also notice, as we mentioned previously, that the control characters, because they occupy actual space on the screen, there isn't a need to obviously put spaces after press, so I don't have to put a space in here um, and, uh, and a space after space as well, before space, because actually that's what, this, uh, that's what those control characters, as a sort of consequence, um, actually produce, so it's not necessary to add those spaces in. So yes, proc title, very straightforward, really not very much more to say about it than that. Um, so we can go back to where we were previously. The next procedure in sequence is proc scores. So if we jump down to proc scores, what we can see here is once again, it's essentially a series of print statements, um, but it's also invoking some of the variables that were defined previously for the various alien graphics. So here, we, again, we start with a clear screen and then we move on to the print char, which uh, is using uh, a combination of the print and then the character string function. So it's not really a keyword. Um, they've just omitted to put the space in between them, um, which is something you can do in BBC Basic. So you could write it like that and it would be entirely legitimate, or you can write it like this and it's also uh, legitimate as well. Um, in some cases, it's fine. If you don't want to put the space in, you don't have to. It saves a space of typing. Uh, personally, I prefer to put it in because it just makes it clearer what's happening here. Um, but I will revert to how the programmer originally wrote the program. So character 141 and a character 130. Uh, and then, then obviously this is basically doing the, uh, the giant text here. For some reason, they've chosen to invoke this using the character string rather than the variables that were previously defined at the top. 
I suspect that that was just a mistake uh, when the program was originally written because having defined those variables, obviously it's not necessary to uh, use the character string, um, but it works just as well. Um, all, all that we're saving by using the variables previously defined is some, is some extra characters uh, of text. So there you go. Um, that's obviously just how the programmer chose to do it, but it has the same effect. Uh, you have to have the print statement twice in order to get the scores given in giant text. Uh, and then after that, uh, it's using a, a little for loop here. So we've got a for loop, which is going from uh, 4 to 24. And it's using that to power the print tab statement. So the print tab statement, as we've seen in previous videos, can be used for displaying text at a particular point on the screen using a sort of x, y coordinate. So this uh, i percentage here is our y coordinate, and this is our x coordinate as the first one. So that's the zero. So zero across and then four down, essentially. Uh, and then all that's doing is essentially setting up um, the various uh, print tab statements that we're going to display um, and the print tab statements then can be used as follows so we've got a print tab uh, across five um, down by six and this gives us uh, the display of the mystery alien which is the flying saucer and it's using the mystery uh, dollar which is the variable previously defined so it just displays a picture of the uh, graphic and then we've got a tab and then uh, another uh, control character here um, which is changing the color and then we end up with these question marks because when you shoot the flying saucer you get a random score so it doesn't have a fixed uh, points value and then from there on down we've got more print tab statements and again they're doing the same thing except that they're using the the different alien sprites here but you'll notice it's just using the first frame of each one of these aliens so uh, these aren't animated so you just get um, the display of the, the sort of first frame of two from the sprite which is obviously why we've got the zero here for the uh, the array. So it's only taking the first uh, graphic from the array. And again, you've got some tabs here um, and then uh, a control character and then the points value. So uh, you've got different points values for different aliens. And it's a nice touch. You know, you could have just had the text to say, you know, sort of describe the aliens, but actually printing pictures of the aliens and their scores is a nicer touch. Um, makes the game just look that little bit better. So that's all that's happening in PROC scores. Again, it's just a static display um, procedure. And then the final one in the sequence is high scores. So if we go down to high scores, what we can see here is a similar sort of affair. We've got a clear screen and then we've got some um, print statements where they haven't put the space in here. So we could obviously have them like this, but as the program was originally written, it's like this. Um, and again, similar situation, it's using control characters uh, to get the giant text here for high scores. And then it's doing a nice for loop um, across both of the uh, array, uh, dim arrays that we created previously, the names array and the scores array. And as we said previously, um, each name is matched to its appropriate score. At the beginning of the game, obviously, all of the scores are initialized in PROC initialize to, to be the same uh, the same name, which is Mark Beat You, um, with the decrementing score starting from 10,000 down to 1,000. Um, now, one thing we haven't touched on is this uh, use of a uh, single quote here. This isn't a typo. It's not, um, it, it's not meant to look like that. It is actually legitimately like this. And that's actually a new line character. So you can see the effect of that. If I write a print statement like so, it just prints Colin. But if I write a print statement like this, I get a new line before before Colin is, is printed. And all that does is just mean that you get a new line uh, in between each item uh, displayed for the high score table. If you didn't have that in there, it would simply display all of the high scores um, one line after the other without a blank line in between them. Um, now it's using this I percentage from the for loop in multiple places, uh, so that's quite a clever uh, piece of economy in the code. So it's using it not only to uh, display uh, or select the relevant value from the dim array, uh, it's also using it to give you um, the, the number of the score in the high score table. Uh, and that's, uh, that's, that's really all that's happening in, in the for loop. Um, so that pretty much concludes what these procedures are doing. Um, not a lot more to say about them than that. They're basically just three static display procedures um, and obviously wrapped up inside this main program loop. The one that really gives you uh, the, uh, the control of the game is proc play, which is the one that you can see here at line 510. 
um, if you were to uh, reach that point in the main program, as we can see if I go into that procedure now, you'll see that this is where the real guts of the game actually starts to kick in, uh, and that will be the subject for the next video in the series. But I wanted to just make this short episode just to cover off um, the procedures that we didn't look at last time, just to make sure that the series is complete and that we're not overlooking um, any, of the, uh, any of the procedures in the program. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, it should have been a good uh, recap of some of the material that we've covered in previous videos. Um, you actually get to see some of those variables being put into practice, as well as the mode seven control characters. Uh, so we'll leave it there. Hope you found that useful. And I hope you'll join me for the next video in the series. Until then, goodbye.